Hello there. We got a quick problem today. The statement reads, for the bar electret, make three careful sketches, one of P, one of E, and one of D. Assume that the length is about twice the radius. All right, so our first sketch is of P. We know that it is uniform amongst the material and it points in a direction from negative to positive, which we understood from the definition of the dipole, and thus the polarization. All right, so for the next sketch, we have the electric field, which looks like the field of two circular plates. This makes sense because the polarization pushes or aligns the charges to where it's at the end, at the boundary, and so we have a positive charge on the northern side and a negative charge on the southern side, and we know that the field lines move from positive to negative, and we see that that's on the outside, and that makes sense. While we're here, let's verify that with another note, and we know that the electric field lines terminate on charges. This is shown in Gauss's law as well, because the surface integral is equal to Q enclosed over epsilon naught, and that shows that we need to incorporate the bound charge itself. So moving along to D, we know that D is the sum of the electric field and the polarization. So if we superimpose the previous two sketches, we can kind of see the result here. Note that the D field does not terminate on the bound charge, it terminates on the free charge. And we can show that this is continuous because the divergence of D is zero. Therefore, the field lines going in has to equal the field lines going out. 